Hello and welcome back to another exciting LEGO Falcon Mega build. We're on page 148 of the manual, step 337, and it's uh, it, it's it's um, yeah, it's proceeding swimmingly, I will say. Or, or will I? I seem to have left myself like halfway through a step, which. Seems about right for me. It seems like the sort of thing I would do. Okay, I seem I seem to know what I'm doing suddenly, so I'll I'll assume all is well in the world. It's number eight in the series. Uh, if you've missed the first eight episodes, I've done this over here. You can only see half of it due to my poor ability to frame anything. Is that right? No, there's one piece missing. <sighs> Just hovering in the middle, it could go anywhere. I had this weird dream this morning. Or last, no, it was this morning. Who's, who sleeps at night? You sleep in the mornings, don't you? You, you? you pass out at midnight, you wake up around seven. That's, that's a good way to live your life. So I had this weird dream. I was, I was in Jurassic Park. Or possibly Jurassic World. I didn't pay. I, I'm pretty sure it was Jurassic Park actually, because I, I believe the crux of our our tour was in. Uh, something akin to a Ford Explorer, which is the the vehicle they used in Jurassic Park. So I was in Jurassic Park, just drive, driving around, taking the tour, and it was a successful tour to to the point where like I was in the vehicle, and there were other random tourists who I suspect. Had I paid close attention to in the dream, I, I would have discovered that they they were just like jumbled up faces of people I knew or or had seen on the street somewhere. I think one of them was Laura Dern, though. I it's hard to be sure because the trouble with trying to recall a dream is you never really get the detail, and if you if you sort of decide on a detail to be be real, your memory can just say, "Yeah, that's how it happened. That's real now. That's." That's that's dream fact for you. Um, yeah, so I was, I was I was going around Jurassic Park, taking the tour. And it was fun, and for some reason, between like between all the all the dinosaur uh, bits, they'd have uh, they'd have like just just regular animals you could find anywhere. Like like someone running the place was like, well, "It's a zoo, isn't it? We can't just be all dinosaurs. We got to have we got to have some some monkeys over here." It's, Here's the sloth chamber. You just drive through. They don't really move much. <laughs> and I just, and when I found that, when I, when I woke up, I, I was like the, that was the strangest part of the dream to me. The fact that, why, why would they, why would they have regular animals there? Who's, who's going to Jurassic Park to see the zebras, or zebras? Okay, that was a complicated little thing to put together. And then at the end, it tells you you got to make two of them. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. the, the the starting bit's the hardest to find, as is tradition. So I believe since the last episode came out, I went and saw Solo, the standalone Han or Han Solo movie. I apparently it's it's a big debate whether it's Han or Han. Some people say Han, some people say Han. I believe in in the original films. Different characters sort of flip-flopped. Um, apparently George Lucas says that it's pronounced Han. So that that's what he says. But no, I think specifically he says that's what he says, not not that's the way to pronounce it. And then uh, in, in the solo film, he corrects someone and says it's, it's actually it's Han. It's, it's Han, not Han. Um, but people still call them both in that anyway. I go for Han because it sounds cooler in my mind. Ah, brilliant. I've made two of these things. They're very complicated. And they go somewhere on here, but I don't really see where. I'll put the nipple on first. Okay. Right, so that bit is facing up and it goes. I can't. I can't get any bearing on where it's supposed to go. Is it here? It doesn't really go there though. It seems to go here actually. 
It doesn't really go there. In fact, how the hell does this clip? It's telling me to clip on this way, but there's no actual uh, like receiving bits on there. So how does does it just sit smooth? Oh, it hooks on this kind of ring. It's almost it's it's poseable and right. Okay, that's that's now easier now that I know that. There's literally only one place it can go. Um, yeah, so like like that. Yeah, the, later on I'll realise that these make perfect sense, but currently I've no idea what they're on. Yeah, so the solo film. It's um, it, not a lot of people were looking forward to it. Apparently, I said it myself. I wasn't. It's a good film. Um, there's no getting around it. I, I went to see it. it. It's fun. It's just you know, it's a it's a Star Wars film. The the characters all seem pretty fun. They're they're fairly original. Obviously, Han Solo's not, and Chewie and Lando aren't. But really, like Lando in the original trilogy, he does he doesn't do shit really, does he? He sh he shows up. He has a couple lines, but you don't really know much about his character. In, if you like read extended fiction, yeah, you might, but none of, none of that counts anyway, really. You thought it did for a while, but then, oh, fuck off, this, ain't, this doesn't count, this is all nonsense. We might use some of it, we might not. Uh, yep. Okay, good. I've made this thing. Let me pop that up there. Last time I made something like that, it went somewhere. I recall last time I put this together and it was wrong and mirrored, and I assumed I'd be using it again later, and I still haven't, and that, that gives me a certain amount of fear thinking that I've messed up. Uh, very typical. There was, there was, I need two of these things. There was one right there, and now... Now the other one doesn't exist. Rather like a dog, I assume, you know, if 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 I can't find or see something for about four minutes, I assume it ceased to exist and I lose my mind. It's a, it's a good way to live your life. It leads to much excitement. So if you haven't seen Solo, I strongly advise you to go and see it. I'm not overly going to talk about it because I, I can't really remember most of it, to be honest. I have made this backwards. Chewie actually gets to do something as well. I feel that, like, in... He, I don't think he did anything in the original trilogy. I, I can't back that up with any actual evidence because I haven't seen them in a long time, but... I don't reckon he did anything. Like, there was a lot of posturing, and like, I oh, yeah, ripped the arms off a, a droid. I can't remember like a single melee fight he got into particularly, or any situation where he showed off like any kind of great degree of strength. In my mind, he doesn't even fire the bowcaster until Force Awakens. He's got. He's always got a bandolier on him. What the hell is he keeping in there? Is it grenades? He never uses them. And so endeth my tirade of confusing Wookiee. Everyone loves Chewie. I mean, he's great. He's great. It's everyone's favourite. But does it? Does he actually contribute anything? Probably is the answer. If if so, if someone goes back and actually does some work and looks at it, it's like, oh yeah, well he, you know, he did he did kill like eight stormtroopers in this scene, or or he. You know, when they were in the trash compactor, it was actually his strength that that saved the, the day. Or some nonsense. But in this, in, in Solo, the, the stand, St Solo, a Star Wars story, because they're, they're not brave enough just to call them the names. They have to have a Star Wars story at the end. I don't know why they don't just call it Star Wars Solo or Star Wars Rogue One. That would be fine. No one would be confused by that. And the people who are confused about it are the same people like, 
So which one's first? Was it episode four or episode one? Which was the first Star Wars? You know, what does it matter? What's the problem? This one came out first in time. This one is first in the story. End of. There's enough. Don't be more confused than you need to be. You watch them in any order you want. They're not that confusing. Okay, the first one is, but they're still not that complicated. They're basically kids' films. And then you get people who are, who are like, who are proud these days. Like, I've never seen a Star Wars film. You know, why not? Where have you been? Jo you know, jo join the conversation. They're fun. People like them. Nope, never seen one. Never intended. Like, What's wrong with you? Go and enjoy your life. Shit. Ah, the traditional scaring of me by myself. The damn mic wire went over my foot. Terrifying. I'll be writing a, a four-act play about my struggle. Is that a thing, a four-act play? That, that exists, doesn't it? I don't know, plays. It'll be a, be a one-man show, won't it? I would like to do that, do a one-man show. Get it really hyped up, try and get a full crowd in. And just don't let them leave. Just just keep going. Or let them leave, but just seriously keep going, right? And just see like how long you can keep the last guy for. Because it's got to get to a point where a lot of people will leave, but there'll be someone in the front row, and it's like, they're too polite, and you just keep fucking going. In fact, this works better if I was like a twin or a triplet, and I could keep swapping out. In fact, I'd, I'd actually quite like to see that, the, the situation where this, this horrendous one-man show just keeps going on. In my mind, all one-man shows are based on uh, in, in Friends, when Chandler goes to this one-man show and it's, and it's a woman going on a tirade about her first period and, and how she hates men and other such hilarities. All right, this is... So suddenly I've got to combine many small grey tubes. Three, six. So what I, my, my overall opinion of Solo, it's better than Rogue One. Like I enjoyed it a lot more. In Rogue One I was bored like for the first half. It's better than that. It's, it's a good film. It I would say it lacks any like scene I, I, I'd watched a film again just to see that scene but there are some films where it's it's an okay film and, and I, I can, I'll sit watching it and I'll, I'll say to myself I'll just watch it up to the bit where where such and such uh, happens it in Kingsman it's the church fight scene in Rogue One it's the space battle at the end that's the best bit um, I'll try and think of some others as I go there was uh, I watched. I was watching Wonder Woman the other night, uh, and in in my opinion, the best scene in that is when she goes over the top in the tr in the trench warfare, and the music kicks in. And for some reason, I don't know why this is. I think it. I think I might. I might be gay or something because it makes me cry every damn time. <laughs> um, I, I. I can't figure out why. I, f I thought in the cinema it's because it was it was hot when I saw it, and the air conditioning was in, so that that creates a certain moisture in the eyes anyway, and then it was a fairly powerful moment. But then seeing it again at, at, at home, it's like, oh no, no, this is it, this is me now. I'm, I'm some, someone who cries at films. It's not a regular occurrence. Just, you know, don't, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm still, still a manly man. In For Ragnarok, it's the scene where, just after Odin goes, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as strong as you, father. No, you're stronger. And Thor realises he's the god of thunder, and the, the immigrant song kicks in again, and you have a really cool fight scene where he's just going nuts. And then in Avengers, there's basically the same scene, but they couldn't use the song again, where he comes in with Stormbreaker. I may have seen Avengers... Infinity War again last night, so the fourth fourth viewing at the cinema. Damn, that's a good film. 
only, I only noticed one thing I hadn't seen before when I watched it last night, and that was uh, in the scene in New York when Doctor Strange does his little trick on the spaceship to stop all the wind. Which I don't fully know what he's doing there, because presumably that ship, is it doing that on purpose? It must be, yeah, it must be creating that kind of havoc on purpose. Or it might be Ebony Moore doing it, because the other ship lands in London and there's no such... Sorry, not London, Edinburgh. And there's no such, like... I want to say tumultuousness or turbulence. That's probably the word that actually works. Um, so presumably either his ship or Ebony Moore was, was creating that havoc to make an entrance. Which would make sense. He seems to have a flair for the dramatic in that fashion. And Doctor Strange does that kind of trick where he's like, and it and it goes. After he does that, he winks at Tony Stark, <laughs> just just as a yeah, I can do that. Is it's such an odd moment because <laughs> I believe he's winking to Tony, who is off screen at the time. Ah, right. So this this and this now connect. Uh, wait, hang on. How do they connect? Ah, that's how. That's, yep, that's satisfying. When I crunched those together, I did clip my finger. Um, so Solo, it, I, I wouldn't, I, I can't think that it has any particular scene like that in it where I'm like, holy shit, I, I need to see that again because it was just so good to see um, that it warrants another viewing. I think it's because the climax isn't quite right. Because if you think of Solo as a character, what is he? Ah, it's coming in. This is the bit I fucked up earlier. Yep, yep. I've skipped three steps there. Boom, done. Massive. Yeah, Solo's whole thing, he's, like, he's a scoundrel, a smuggler. So how, how do you have like that as a pivotal scene? And he's, His whole thing is supposed to be a, pilot, a good pilot, but he's not a fighter pilot, so they can't... They can't have some like climactic battle where he takes on a bunch of ships because that doesn't make sense. The Millennium Falcon is not a it's not a ship of war. It can it can do in a fight, but it's not where it shines. So yeah, there is a fairly cool scene where he's uh, he is flying, but it's not it's not like he's fight fighting anyone too. There's a, there's a cool shot of a of a of, of some stuff happening. I don't, I don't want to throw spoilers out because apparently the film's not doing so well and people aren't seeing it, but they really should because it's definitely worth seeing. It's a really good Star Wars film. Because I'll say that with a pinch of salt because we are currently living in an age where for some reason they keep making loads of Star Wars films and a fair few Star Wars games don't want to put any Jedi in them. Um, I'm not sure why. I feel like you know, if I want a Star Wars toy, I want a lightsaber. If I'm going to dress up as a Star Wars character, I'm picking a Jedi because it's loose flowing robes, which are easy to manage. I'm not wearing PV PVC armor, that's a pain in the ass. I'll take the loose flowing robes over the orange jumpsuit of the, of the Rebels. Is that right? Have I done that? All time saved by building this earlier has been wasted by, by me entirely. I'll just pop that up there for now. Okay, this looks confusing. Uh, that ties into my what? That goes there, I think. That goes there. Yep, yeah, I'm good. It's all good. I haven't messed this up massively. How much faith do you have in that statement? None at all. That actually is correct in the traditional sense for once. I'm now trying to think of uh, other films where there's it's, it's enough to watch it for just one scene. Kung Fu Hustle. Ah, well, no, Kung Fu Hustle, Hustle doesn't take, count because for me, there's it's about three scenes in that. There's the there's the opening scene where they're about to to set fire to the woman and the guy I wanna I wanna call him Chinley, that's not his name. 
chin length. <laughs> this is the wrong. This is wrong. Apparently, just I'm just making this up as I go. There's the opening scene where the guy comes in, catches the lighter, and and it's like fuck you, I'm a martial artist. Then all the other ones appear. That's a great scene. Then there's the one where they get killed by the musicians. That's a, that's the great scene, and that, and then the whole like closing fight's great. There's basically all the action scenes um, in that kung fu film. Okay, it's a maverick move, but it appears to work. We have gained. A little red piece. I'm clearly making like another, I want to call it a wing, but it's not. It's, it's like a side piece, but it is very wing-like. Like a like Colleen wing. Some TV shows have, have those scenes, actually, now that I think about it. Daredevil. He has that fight scene, and I think the second episode, like the long corridor fight scene, it's just, it's just worth watching. It's brutal. The Defenders gets one in as well. When they all first meet, it's... It's a pretty cool scene. It's not quite as good, but it is pretty cool. Iron Fist has none of those scenes. Um, Iron, F Iron Fist has nothing going for it. It's, it's a, he's a terrible... He's not a terrible... I like the character in the comics, but in the show he's just... They got the wrong actor. He's got no swagger to him. And that goes there. Little one square reds. Didn't even know I had these. In the first series of Legion, there's a scene. It's not in the last episode, it's just towards the end. It might be the last episode. Where Jermaine Clement, I want to say is his name, he does something very fancy to music. It's a very good scene. It's one of like. I'm basically, what I'm describing here is like, if I were to make a video of like my, I don't know, top 10 cool scenes, this is, this is the list. Although I think it works better if it's, if it's cool scenes in average films. Well, not average films, but like, like worth, it's worth watching a, f a film just to, for this one scene. And you can come out of the film and be like, yeah, that, that one scene did make it worthwhile. Ah, I knew I was missing something big. It's bigger than big. It's large. Is this right? No, not quite. Need one more little grey. There's a good amount of pieces around me right now. I, I feel like I can get to everything as I need it. Um, Jurassic Park. See that? In fact, that that's actually that might be the thing I do. If if a film only ha if a film has one good scene in it, if it's worth watching. If it has if it has two, it's worth watching the whole film. Maybe. And if it has three, it's therefore just a good film. How many good scenes does Jurassic Park has have? You got you got the scene at night with the. Uh, with the T-Rex attack. That's that's great. That's that's fantastic. The, the whole choreography of all of it is just just wondrous. So that's that's one it's definitely got. And what else has it got? The Raptors. It like it's hard to point out put it in, in my mind because there's a certain point where the Raptors attack and like that's whole that's like one long wondrous bit. So it's, it's you know, it's all good. Jurassic Park doesn't count. It's too, it's too much of a masterpiece. You need the film needs to be sort of not B movie, but you know, average. Like a, it has to be a film that people like, but people also dislike. Not people hate because there's lo there's loads of films that people people that, that are lo there's loads of films that are loved, but people hate them. Right, I put I put four of these on. Put that little fin on. Put the little flat bit. I just need one single stud. 
to go here. That stud will be really important later. You'll never see it, even even with this high resolution. It'll never come out. One of the great burdens is that I record these videos in 4K, which has the, the wonder, wonderful effect of making the, the the rendering time four times as long. Why isn't this going on? It takes four times as long to render, it takes four times as long to upload, and uh, it doesn't garner four times as many views, that's for damn sure. I don't know that I can even get numbers on who watches it in 4K, but I feel it's it's future proof proofing, you know. In in 20 years, when you come to watch this video and it's it's like you look at the 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 options, you think, oh, it's, it's got 4K, so it's, you know it's gonna it's gonna fill up like you know six sixteenth one sixteenth of my screen, so that'll work. I was watching something the other day on YouTube and like the the video quality oh that was it yeah so I got um I got some Metroid Fusion videos coming out they might have already come out now actually I'm not sure well anyway there's some Metroid Fusion stuff coming out and after after I play the game I never I never do any like researching into a game before I play it it always comes after when I'm doing like thumbnails and writing descriptions and that sort of thing I like to think of it that that if there's any glaring errors in the videos or, or omissions, omissions. I can put them in, in like the thumbnail, uh, not the thumbnail, the description. No, and I'll read them, but it's like, well, you know, that's my get out of jail free section. So I, I, I after I played it, I went, um, I just, I just Googled Metroid Fusion, get a bit of artwork for a thumbnail. That's how I work, that's how I roll. I also like to know stuff like just when it came out and if it's had re-releases, that sort of thing. And there was a speed run. Like I googled Metroid Fusion, and on on like the front Google web page, there was a YouTube video that was a speed run. The speed run had no commentary, which is fine for a speed run to be honest. I, I don't think it's needed. And it said in the description that it was a. Um, it wasn't really a proper speed run. It was done on an emulator where the game had been slowed down to like half speed or something like that, which, and then when you speed it up, it makes you look better. And it was, it's essentially, it was like a frame perfect one. So anytime like a mistake was made, you, you just, you know, you'd go back so far and start again from that point. So it's not, a, it's, it's, it's what you'd probably call like a, a theoretical perfect speed run this it's how it would look if everything went right and i, I think it was an 100 percent job but i'm not certain <clears throat> but the max resolution was it's like the lowest it go i want to say what is the lowest on youtube is it 110 it, 144 it's 144 isn't it that's that's the lowest set that was it that was the only setting on there i was like i don't, I don't even know how you can get it that low <laughs> It was, it was impressive. I really should have cut that long sh story shorter, shouldn't I? Though this 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 is not the video series for cutting stories short, is it? There it is. One day I'm going to record this, and I'll I'll forget to turn my microphone on. And in saying that, I need to t check. Yep, it's on. It's all good. It's in my pocket. There's a little little sort of control job. Yeah, I'm gonna to forget to turn it on definitely one day. And then when I do that, like that episode, I'll I'll still put it out, but it'll either be like sped up or just some some calming nature sounds over it. Which is what they used to do on reality TV when people were saying things that were either, either they were swearing a lot, they were it was like libelous or essentially illegal, whatever they were saying. Or they wanted to save it for the main show, like they they do like the twenty four hour live cast. I was like, this is Big Brother. I'm mainly thinking of did this, where if, if anything good actually happened, they'd cut it out of the live thing, so you'd you'd have to wait until the actual show to see it. Um, that that that's what I'd use, just just calming bird song essentially. Would it be looped? Possibly. 
I'm making some of those confusing little things I made earlier on. The 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 the, the instructions are different this time round. It's the, it's clearly the same thing, but the instructions are slightly different for some reason. Uh, for bastards. There's still a lot of stuff in here. Like, there's a huge number of those things. There's there's a lot of stuff I just haven't touched yet. So I'm suspecting I'm going to make this, and then then they'll all be used on the same thing, and it'll be an en the, the, the actual engine. That's one. I've got to make another one exactly the same. Ish. When I was making it, I could have picked out all the parts in duplicate. That would have actually made it significantly easier. But I didn't. I'll live with that mistake to the end of my days. One thing I haven't found is the one piece I was looking for. I picked up every single other thing to build this. Except that one piece. It's, I mean, it's it's going to be here. It's just it's, it's very small. I keep getting distracted by these. They're very pleasing colour. They're, they're the sort of colour I imagine they would end up dressing like prisoners in in a utopian society. Why does a utopian society have prisoners? I don't know. But it, it would be to calm them. <clears throat> have I already picked it up? No. All right. I've just I've just got to go in move the pieces around once i i start to build some kind of order that's when the piece will appear to me and that's what's happened it's such it's such a bullshit um i want to say like mumsy move isn't it like if you if you lost something and you're trying to find it her advice would be well just start tidying up and you'll find it and the thing is it's true you will it's the easiest way to find something, but it's like no, I don't, I don't want to tidy anything up. It feels like a trick. I mean, it is it, you, you're tricking me with good advice, is what you're doing. Oh shit! Is that why Lego exists? Because it, it, it tricks you into reading, sort of following rules, and order. And also, if you tidy shit up, it becomes easier to do things. Damn it! This has all been a lie. I've been tricked into becoming a more rounded individual. Feel the right fool. Okay, it's good, right. See, they make you build these two complicated things, which together have two, four, one, no, one, two, three, four, about seven pieces each in them onto here. And then they also throw in that like rounded nipple to put on as well, which you could easily miss. Oh, oh, exciting. This is actually the other half of this. Look at that mighty stallion. It's not symmetrical, I want to point out. It's specifically not. There's red here and like gray here. That's, sorry, I need a thumbnail. That's that seems to be a, a given choice. Also folds in nicely. So I'm suspecting step two is, yep, I have to put this on somehow. Okay, bring in the falcon. So it goes on, upside down, on the rear, and it's held in place. How? It goes, how far down does it go? Seems, I think it goes above the, that thing. Um, sort of, a, a, can't, can't go right down there, that's dumb. Seems to be about there. But how does it, how does it stay in place? It sh it's showing me a thing here, but I can't really read it. What? Oh, I think it should. Ah. Oh. oh, I think it goes like more out here than in, in flush. I think it's supposed to be. 
Something something like that, I think. But there doesn't seem to be anything holding it on. And I can't I can't even see any way of holding it on. And it doesn't say to hold it on with anything. Does it just sit? You know what, let's just let me read ahead, because the next thing is clearly building something impressive. I think well, it kind of looked like the next face was building something to clip it on with, but it's not. Actually, I think it might be. I'm just going to I'm just going to sort of Gonna leave that like that and hope that it works itself out in the wash somehow. You know that phrase, it'll all come out in the wash? You might think that that relates to, uh, you know, when you when you wash a, an item of clothing, all the, all the the muck, the sins, the lies, if you will, will come out in the wash and you'll see, you know, what, what's, what's true, i.e. the clothing, and what's not. That's not actually true. That's not the origin of that phrase. The origin of that phrase is King John of England. That's the same King John that was uh, fought by Robin Hood, for reference. He was, he was a cowardly, well, I want to say lion in, uh, in the Disney adaption. He was... He was crossing a section of a uh, of a river. Uh, what's the word? I want to say bulge, but that's not correct. It's like uh, almost the mouth of a river, called the Wash. It was called that because the tide would uh, would come in and out very aggressively because it was near the ocean or some shit. Um, and he 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 was crossing that and he got caught in it essentially. His train did anyway. Uh, that being the name of like his procession, and he lost the crown jewels in it, in the wash, and that's, you know, his, he was considered a bad king, and it that was like that was one of the moments that led to his downfall. It you know it will all come out in the wash. That's where that saying comes from. Now I should point out that I have made that up. Um, elements of that story are true, but. The larger, more definite elements are not true. Um, so don't don't base your thesis on that. You could probably get away with telling that story in the pub because it would be very hard to verify, I should imagine, because there's so many elements of it that are basically correct. And it might actually be true. That's the thing. I, Whilst I have just made it up, stranger things have happened. So I've made this, and now I just put it to the side and make something else very similar that I'm about to attach to it, I now see. I'm looking forward to using these, these little pipes. They're very, it's very tempting to mess around with them, but I don't want to damage them. Because I feel they're the hardest part to try and replace accurately without just sending off for more. I don't even know what happens when you send off for more. Do you have to pay for them? Or is, it, is it essentially free? Do you get do you get so many for free? If I make up a sob story, is, does that help? It's the cynic in me. Whenever I see like people post on Reddit and stuff about how like, oh yeah, their you know their retarded brother only only likes this one kind of stickle brick and they don't make them anymore. And like stickle brick was like, we'll start up the old mill again and churn out a few more. I don't know what stickle brick is. <laughs> yeah, just just for your brother. And, uh, and it's like, oh great, he's, he's so ecstatic. And oh, they also sent him, you know, 500 pounds worth of stickle bricks. I don't know why I've, I've picked stickle bricks as my hill to die on. I don't need to do this. I, start, <laughs> I started reading the instructions over again. I just need to build this and put it on this. In a very satisfying fashion. God, that's that sturdy as fuck. You could, you could build a bridge with that. You shouldn't, but you definitely could. 
Ooh, this is this is all gonna clip in somewhere soon, isn't it? This is this is making something fortified. <gasps> the first one of these little bits is used, and it adds strength. It is my favourite bit when you're just you're adding strength to it. Feels feels like you know good, like you're doing something. No, don't need that. Need no one of these for this end. Is it overhang? It overhangs. Okay. Right. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. Um, just, just make shit up, but not. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't really lying. It was more. It was more bullshitting. Would be the, the exact term. So I found out I was. I was kind of good at it. Like you just. You need a little bit of truth in there. A fair amount of bullshit, and also. It needs to be. Uh, not just believable, but like, why would you make it up? Essentially, it's it's like there's a, there's a subtle art to it, and you don't want to go too far with it. And the trouble is, is you know, the more you do it, the more more people start to learn that you're you're a bit of a bullshitter. And you start losing credibility. I yeah, I, I got out at the right time. I I stopped. And the stopping was good. That's really confusing. The perspective makes it look like there's a flat grey piece in here, but there definitely isn't because it hasn't told me to put one anywhere, but that's really that's thrown me for a loop. It's only possible to build so much Lego at a time without losing all sensation in the tips of your fingers. That's part part of the reason why I'm doing this all on video and not just just much much quicker in my own time is because if if I did that, I would probably destroy my hands to, to an irreparable degree. I don't believe that was the right word to use, but I I went with it. I stumbled through it, got out the other side. Seem to work. So you remember last week when I was I was really happy because Don't Starve had just been done as like was like free for a weekend, so I was gonna get down and play it. I downloaded it, opened it up, and it said, "Oh yeah, you, you need a a user account to continue for like Don't Starve's user account system, whatever it is." And I was like, "Nope, not happening." And I just closed it, never went back to it. <laughs> so that that's that's what happened there. It clearly wasn't meant to be. But I have currently been playing Little King's Story, which was originally a Wii game, and then it became a big game. No, it was a Wii game, and it got first. It came out on on the Wii. I think it got a PSP semi sequel. Like it wasn't actually a sequel. I think it might have been the same game, but but different. Which doesn't make really any sense, does it? But I've been playing that on the on the PC. It came out on PC. It was shit at launch, and then apparently they fixed it with a bunch of patches. So as soon as they fixed it, I brought it because I I was going to buy it straight away because I'd been fancying it for a while. I've still got it on Wii, but you can't really go back and play Wii games. They look fucking terrible, particularly on like any kind of new monitors and such. You can get it. If you play it on a TV far away, it's not too bad. But you play it on a on a monitor up close, it looks like shit. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's that's all good. So I've been playing that. It's a great game. It's like the game made for me. I, it combines so many of the things that I really like, and that are hard to sort of explain. And other games don't do well. And it, it annoys me. It never got a sequel. It's never been. I love the sequel. But there's one slight issue I have with the game. It's not an issue I have. It's an issue with the game. There's a bug in it that they haven't addressed. And it's really annoying. And 
To be honest, I could fix it myself fairly easily. Basically, when they updated the game at some point, they accidentally put the dead zone wrong for controller controls, gamepad controls. Um, what I mean by that, and this will have happened if you'd ever, if you ever have a console, a controller that can be turned on and off. If you hold the control stick down and turn it on, the controller and the, the console will think that, despite that, it will think the controller is, the, the, the joystick is in the middle and not moving, i.e. the dead zone, like that's position zero, but it's not, it's over there. So when it is there, it will think it's over there and you're running to the right. Basically, that's what happens in Little King's story. It's, so if, if you're not moving the control stick at all, you'll just like wander in a direction or the camera will slowly rotate. It's kind of minor because for some weird quirk in that game, you couldn't, you couldn't rotate the camera and move anyway. And because you're moving around a lot, it, it, it sort of cancels it out. So it's not, it's not a huge issue, but it, it's like a, just a very minor annoyance. I could fix it by using mouse and keyboard controls. That, apparently that fixes it because obviously there's no dead zones. Or I could fix it by downloading like a, an X input app. The sort, of, the sort of app that allows you to use like generic random controllers on anything else by tricking the game into thinking you're like using keyboard controllers essentially. And you just set the dead zone so it's correct. But I can't be bothered to do any of that because it's, it's too much like hard work. So I just sit and I play it with, a, with, a, with the wrong dead zone. Which, uh, if you've ever, this used to be more common, I feel, in when, when, uh, when game pads first started having control sticks. And you might, you might, when, the, when it was wired, you'd have like, you'd leave the controller over by your chair and you'd get up to turn it on. But you wouldn't realise the controller was face down, and so the control stick was like jammed up against the sofa cushion. Chain him through these bad boys. But it's my my current passion of a game. And the music in it is really good. Mainly because it's it's all just classical music. Um but not uh, not like real, like, it's land and hope and glory, it's that sort of thing. It's, it's the sort of music you'll often hear if you're English and you're watching like, what's the word, like royal based event. Any event where there's a royal present essentially is the sort of music they'll play there. And it just, it fills me with a, a sense of uh, pride, honestly. Nationalistic pride. Which is a bit of a dirty word in England because normally anyone who's, who shows English pride is a massive racist. Fortunately, the racists in our country uh, aren't too aggressive about it. We're still English. Okay. That's the thing I've made. Now what? There's a planet in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy called Now What? It's like the most depressing planet in the galaxy. It wasn't it wasn't barren, but it wasn't it wasn't great. It was you just get there and it's like now what? That's why they called it Now What. I have this ongoing saga with my phone at the minute where every few days it tells me one of two things. One, there's an, there's an update to iOS available, which I always decline because any update now is just going to make my phone worse, you know? But I haven't, there's, there's no, I haven't got any bugs, like major bugs to worry about that, I, that could cause issues. So any update is just going to screw me over by, by obsoleting my phone. Which they claim isn't a thing, but you know it's a fucking thing. This is wrong. I've made this all wrong. So I either get that message, or I get a message saying, you're almost out of storage space. Would you like to manage iCloud storage to free up space? I'm like, no, fuck off. I'm not paying for iCloud storage. I don't want anything on the cloud either. Because you're better secure as... 
I was going to make a racial joke there, but I probably shouldn't. Um, I was actually going to make a gay joke, but for some reason I decided that was a race. Um, all right, that's a little, little red clamp there, adding a bit of a much needed stability. Yeah, and basically all, all that happens is I, I open my phone, I go to the storage section, I delete the iOS download, it's, it's the iOS upgrade that's downloaded for me, which is always about one and a half gigabytes, which is a lot, given that my phone can only hold, I don't know if it's eight or 16, I think it's 16, but it's, it's not very much, you know, it's not that much storage. I don't like my phone, but I refuse to buy another one because I'm tight and I don't really use it. Like seriously, I, I, you know, I never make calls or anything. I, I don't even have 3G turned on most of the time. Fucking get in there, you bastard. If I didn't need it for work, I probably wouldn't have it. And I know it's possible, in theory, to turn on a setting so it won't auto-download those updates. But I have got that setting turned on, and it still does it. And it's a pain in the ass because I. It's clearly it clearly uses up battery to download that sort of thing, and it it has to use up like. But it doesn't use up my my 3G because that's not turned on. But if I was, hang on. Yeah, it's, if I had like non, if I had limited Wi-Fi then it would be using that up as well. It's such a fuck you move. Especially because now, when, it's, when it says an update is ready, it's, it says, like, install now or schedule for later. It's, there's no option of fuck off. It's, it's do it now or do it later. And you have to schedule it and say, no, I don't want this. Piss off. I don't care if it's free. I don't care if it will make my phone better. I don't trust you. Sod off. I really hope it becomes clear how all this adds together because currently I'm sat with this just flopping on the side there. It uh, doesn't look grand. Had a midnight Mac attack last night, which is, it, which is code for went to McDonald's at around midnight. Probably about 11, half 11. Ah, that's good. I had, I, well, I ordered several things. One of the things I ordered was a, a barbecue chicken BLC, which for reference, if you're not aware, they may not do it in your country, you may not be an aficionado of McDonald's, as I clearly am. Uh, for audio only listeners, I, I just gestured at my gut. Audio only listeners would be people watching this on YouTube but not looking at it. Uh, which I can only assume is is a full 10% of my viewership. Hmm. I'm skipping a lot of stages by doing that. I need to finish what I'm looking at. So it should it should be a, ch a chicken burger or sandwich with lettuce, bacon, cheese and barbecue sauce. Very nice. Um, it's a good mix. Works well. Um, but for some reason, what what they gave me was was chicken, lettuce, cheese, and mayo. So there's no no bacon, no barbecue sauce. And I I was looking. I was like, was it a chicken mayo they put cheese on, or was it was it a BLC they got the sauce wrong and gave no bacon? I, and the thing is, it was I'd gone for a drive through, so it's not like I could return and say this. This is close, but it's not right. It, you've had a go, and you failed spectacularly. <laughs> but you know that that happens every now and again, and I feel like I'd like to complain to someone, and I'd like to get some kind of monetary reward out of it. Like, ah, oh, well done for bringing this to attention. And here's a here's a free Big Mac. Um, which I think is actually a scheme they do if you fill in like their customer surveys. But you need your receipt and it's a whole thing. I've made some phones. 
But I feel I feel this, you know, this is the next best thing to filling in a customer survey is to is to mention it on our nineteen of a, Le a Lego building series that has a viewership that is smaller than probably the people in this room right now. And I'm the only one in this room and I'm barely here. I won't even watch this. One day I'll watch it. I'll I'll watch it when I, I, I lose like my memory and they have to figure out some way of, of describing who I am. So I just endlessly watch my own videos and I go insane. Or I come to the weird conclusion that I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I was, I, I kill myself. I don't, I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Very confusing. Ah, bastard. There's a version of events where there's someone gets. Uh, it's into a, a vault like situation like fallout and the only the only entertainment they're offered whatsoever is is my videos and they they i don't know they they end up treating me as some sort of god king i'm almost certain that was a there's probably a number of tv series actually i think that may have happened in fallout in fact that's basically how the kings came to be in fallout new vegas isn't it I put, I've made this wrong. These are supposed to be pointing the other way. I feel the right fool. That was a big announcement. Uh, well, not announcement. They, they just dumped the trailer, Bethesda did, for Fallout. Is it 76 or 78? I want to say it's 76. With, uh... Was it, it was a John Denver song, wasn't it? Was it uh, West Virginia? Or was it a song about West Virginia, but it wasn't that song that everyone likes? I, I can't actually remember now. I've lost it in my head. It was, it was some, anyway, the trailer came out. Don't know anything about it yet, what kind of game it will be. Yeah, ho I'm hoping, you know, it's, it's, it's the next Fallout. Like, is it the New Vegas to Fallout 4 at as New Vegas was to Fallout 3. Is that going to be the situation? If so, great. That's fine. Fallout 4 had loads of great stuff in it. The engine seemed fine. The, the gameplay was really good. So just more of that, great. Um, oh, another little one of these going on. And this is now going to connect onto here. Thusly. Yeah, look at that. That's the ah, oh, dick. Massive dick. After connecting that together, just at the bottom of the page, it just said times two. So I've just got to make this again. God damn it! If it had told me that at the start, I might have made two then. Yeah, it tells me at the start, but still, I wasn't paying attention. I skipped those boxes because they're like spoilers. Oh well. I'm hoping to finish this bag by the end of the video. Let's get, oh, I need a drink. I'm dying at first. I've had a cold for about two days now. Um, if that, in fact, might, yeah, about two days. Just, you know, sore throat, minor headache, running nose, that sort of thing. And I'm just, I'm just on like the, let's say the come down from it. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent yet, but I'm, I'm so much better than I was. I feel like, you know, I feel like I've suddenly got a lot more energy back and it's like, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm almost returned to form. I, it's such a great feeling. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad cold by any means. It didn't stop me doing anything. It didn't. Yeah, it, it's like it's like it knocked me down by ten percent. It's the best way I can describe it. Fucking nailed that first time round. Hang these bad boys on. The 
the main symptom of the cold seemed to be that my throat felt very dry. Um, not really painful, but like just desert-esque. It's the best way I could describe it. Nailed that. Did that like a champ. Throw that together like that. Boom. And put these two in here. I'm, I'm thinking I'll be able to finish this bag all right. It, it seems to be going pretty quick. I, I think the last stages will throw in quite quickly as well once I've built these two things again. Put that over there. Is that good? That's good. E3 is really coming up as well, isn't it? That's that's actually got me kind of excited because I, I I'm main I'm most excited about Nintendo because they they seem to be like back on form to to being like exciting. There, there was a time where they, no matter what they announced, I was like, I don't give a shit. Who the fuck? Care? This is nonsense news. I don't care. You you bring in Netflix to your service now? I don't give a shit. But net but you know. They seem to be like, all right, we, we're throwing out cool announcements left, right, and center. Here's a, here's a Pokemon video. Do you, know, do you know when it's out? Oh, it's out now, and it's free to play. Enjoy. Is it a good game? No, but it's free. I am, of course, talking about that Pokemon game that came out. I can't even think what it's called. I want to say Pokemon... Tumble... It's started, like... It's a cube based. It's a mobile game, is what it is. That's wrong. It looks like it'll be quite a good mobile game. It's not a great Switch game. It's like one up from Pokemon Go. It's got the you know it's got the timers of a traditional mobile game. Doesn't look to be too like bullshit with uh Pay to win stuff. A little bit of strategy in there. It's good, good mix. I should finish, but I. This is kind of the satisfying bit to build is is throwing all these things on there. So I'm just gonna, just gonna treat myself to that little bit. Of course, if I hadn't done it, I'd have the fun of putting these on next video. Uh, you know what? I think I think I will I will leave it there. Three seven two. I knew I got too ahead of myself and I thought I'd be able to make the damn things. Actually, very nearly finished. It's, I, you know, I tell a lie. Oh, no, no, we are. There's like two pages. There's, there's about three pages left, but two of those are like just put this one thing on here so it won't be long. That'll do, though. That's, uh, that's video eight. Uh, thanks for watching. Join me next time when I promise you I will. I will do something with these things, and then then it will be bag six. Only ten more to go. Not even halfway. I think there's seventeen bags. Jesus Christ! This doesn't go down. It's endless. What have I done?